this may sound like just complaining, and I, I don't want to do it that way. I'm, I'm trying to have an honest conversation about this topic, but maybe you can hear some of the frustration in my voice. Um, one of the challenges in the comic industry that we seem to have is that there's this push to, you know, hey, we, you know, just just talk about comics. And the problem is that just talk about comics, it, it, it really isn't that simple. It's you, you, you're supposed to talk about comics in a certain way, with certain restrictions and not cover their things because they're embarrassing. And it, it eventually you get so tired of being limited by what you can say that you just stop talking. And then I think you just lose interest. And that's the challenge with engaging with this community, which we need. But let me go into it and probably piss a bunch of people off. Hey everybody, this is Perch. Um, I'm being honest with what I'm saying. So for good or bad, or whether you like it or not, or anything, I'm just I'm I'm putting my you know, for lack of a better word, putting my heart on my sleeve here in in what I'm talking about. And I think that there's a bunch of stuff that gets me super frustrated about comics in general. And I, you know, I, I do less. I, I used to post more to Twitter. I still do uh, post, but I'm finding myself do less and less because there's too much built-in kind of silliness that goes on. I post a, uh, you know, the sometimes headlines. I, I find that a lot of the, the comic news is terrible. If you're new to the channel, that is probably new to you. But if you've been here for even two weeks or longer, you know my feelings is that the comic news in general is just lowest common denominator, often clickbaity nonsense. And even just posting a headline, like I posted a headline for, you know, X-Force uh, is going to bring the sexy or something. I, that was kind of how the headline was. And it was a ludicrous headline. Um, in a lot of respects, it was, it was a silly sounding headline and it didn't make a hell of a lot of sense. And, you know, just dumb, uh, you know, in many ways, just dumb. And, um, you know, it, I, I posted it so people would laugh at it because it was absurd. Um, the, the whole, the whole headline and everything about it was silly. Um, but the responses immediately got into just like culture war stuff on both sides. Like, well, if you don't like it, don't buy it. It's like, I, I'm not talking about buying it or not buying it. It just is a stupid headline. We should be able to, to be able to innocently make fun of something without it having being World War II. And I don't want to hear the, the, the comment anymore of, well, you should be able to do that. But because of a couple of bad actors, now none of us can do it. Oh, Part of my expression, but fuck that. I'm just I'm tired of a, a couple people spoiling things for everyone. That that we have to say, well, because of this one, you know, uh, zombie over here, this white nationalist over here, or this protester over here, that we have to portray everything as terrible, and nobody can comment anymore because you might happen to offend somebody or you know get it just, it just ugh, enough enough. We can just read comics and like them or not like them and, and have it be, have it be the end of that. But I get, I get messages from time to time from people inside the business. And I would say on the whole, like half the people in the business are happy with me. Uh, you know, I, I don't, or, or just have no feeling. They, they think I bring something to, and they, they're fine with it. And then there's a third that will, I don't know the math all adds up here anymore, but the, they'll mail me and say things like, um, uh, you really shouldn't talk about this topic because it makes comics look bad. And the topic is something like uh, like like the harassment that went on. I know it was tiring for a lot of you to read through that. It was tiring for me too. Um, I I think it's it's important to look at this so we can hopefully come to some kind of conclusion and solution and kind of wrap our arms around it. I also think it's valuable to kind of sort out the the real information from the fake information. Uh, there's a lot of really big YouTube channels out there by people who, who are respected that put out um, just nonsense information. And whether they're misinformed or they're purposefully putting out, I don't know. But it, it's not helpful. Um, and it, it just, it, they continue to do it. They continue to do it because screw it. I, I don't know why. Um, I do know this. And you can see this for yourself. You look at my videos and you look at the views. You will notice very, very rapidly that the videos that are positive has less views than the videos that deal with more negative topics. Now, I'm not in this for money. 
I, as I say often, I, I'm not in this to, to make cash or any of the rest. So for me, I put up the views. I put up my videos based on what people are asking me to talk about or what I feel like talking about. And if I go five days and you can see these stretches in my videos, where there's like five days, no real negative topics and very low views. Now, for some people, if you're trying to make cash off your channel, that's panic time. For me, I could care less. So it's you're, you're getting what I'm thinking about talking about at the time. But it, it is when when people say, hey, I don't uh, I want to just hear about positive things with comics. Um, it's like that. That sounds good. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I for what for whatever reason, uh, a lot more people want to hear about the negative aspects of comics. And for me, that tells me one thing. It tells me that there's information that needs to get out there to set the record straight in some cases about what, you know, you know, what to believe. If, if the negative topics out there are spewing uh, inaccurate information, then, you know, we need to get out there and, and, and put the put the facts out there as best we can. There's still going to be there's still some people are not going to believe you. I had some guy just go on a bender with me over overshipping because he heard how overships work on uh, Zach's channel, which was not accurate. And then he came over to me to tell me I was wrong. And I'm I like it just happened to catch me at a moment where it's like, well, screw it. I have some time. So I took I have photos of <laughs> of the cost of overshipping. Like, here's the invoice. Here's you go. Here's from a from a shop. This is what it actually costs. Um, so you know, again, I, I don't know if you know, maybe he was you know, exactly misinformed or was making a bigger point or I or, or being deceptive. I, I have no idea, nor do I really care. That's his business, not my channel. I could care less what. But you know, here's the actual numbers. And I had this guy come back and like, oh, you falsified those pictures. It's like, dude, shipping is shipping. Like. <laughs> Like, don't trust me. Go to UPS. Ask. This, this is silly. <laughs> this is a silly argument. It's a dumb argument. But the thing with comics is that, uh, you know, there we have to make a choice. It, by not talking about I've I've gone way astray from my original point. Got me off on this, this rant. Um, I think that there are some important topics that we need to cover and we need to talk about in comics. We need to figure out. I don't, I, I've heard the different channels that kind of mock and, and, and the, the word community. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the word community. Don't, don't fit into that tribal BS where, you know, certain words mean different things and it's going to trigger you like some kind of, you know, crazy person. Community is just community. Community is a group of people who are interested in the same thing, more or less. They don't all agree. And, uh, you know, the, the, the power of the community is really based on the power of their energy or their spin. Um, because community can build things or the community can still spend money on things. And in both cases, you need that community in order to harness a business. It's a fact of life. You can assign whatever political ideology you want to that word. It doesn't change the fact that if you want to make a comic successful, um, you, you're going to need people to buy it. That takes a group of people and a word for a group of people can be community. You can choose to use it or not. I, I really don't care anymore, but um, it, it is what it is. Uh, but the, the community of comics uh, is it, it, if if we keep, you know, and, and this is why it always irks me when um, people who are in the business will mail me and say things like, you shouldn't talk about this. It's like, I, I mean, sounds cool, but it, why? What, what are we protecting? What are we helping? Um, why is it that uh, some people can come in and want to talk about, hey, that there's some sexual harassment or some other things going on, and this is bad, and we should we should cancel this person or we should get them in trouble or whatever it happens to be, and then if you start to say that if you if you start to do some videos on the topic of, hey, um, what are some fundamental things that need to change about the comics business so we don't keep having this happen? And people are like, whoa, 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 you, you shouldn't talk about that. Don't talk about that stuff. That 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 paints comics in a negative light. It's like, at that point, you're an ostrich. Your head is in the sand. If this stuff is going on in comics, it's already in a quote-unquote negative light. Trying to to just hide that fact and not talk about solutions. Uh, now, now, granted, if you're doing, you know, you're going on YouTube every single day for a year and you're just bitching about the problem, you're offering no solutions, yeah, you're not really helping anything. But 
how do you expect this stuff to be solved? Do we just kind of all close our eyes and, and wish it better? Do we kind of assume that if none of us talk about it, then it'll all go away that, um, Hey, you know, if, if we say anything negative about comics and you are on the outside of comics, you don't have the right to say it's, it's a bunch of convoluted logic. What is it? <laughs> it's, it's a lot of people, I was going to say a lot of people were very fond of Harry Potter and quotes there. Um, inside the books, but now J.K. Rowling is uh, is is in some hot water with some people, so maybe it's not fashionable anyway. But there's a quote in one of the books that uh, has been in memes and other things, and it's like, you know, truth is generally preferable to lies. <laughs> it's like this this statement. I, I think the the grown up adult wizard is saying that to the boy wizard, and it's like, I, yeah, truth is better than lies. Truth is better than hanging things up. If the truth is uncomfortable. Um, that sucks, but it doesn't mean that we should stop telling it. And I think that that's, that's one of the interesting aspects about comics is that at times it feels like people are like, well, that truth is an uncomfortable truth. So we really shouldn't discuss it, or maybe we should discuss it behind closed doors, a very small amount of people, but let's just uh, pretend this stuff doesn't, let's not discuss uncomfortable truths. Uh, that's, that's no good for the industry. And we see where that has brought us. It's brought us to this cluster where everybody's awkward in how they talk to each other. And far more discussion is going on around problems in comics than actual solutions in comics. And it's, it's, it, it, it's not helping. None of this is, is leading to a better place. So maybe it's time to give truth a try again. Maybe it's time to just say, here's an idea I have. Let's bravely speak it. Maybe it's a good idea. Maybe it's a bad idea. But we're going to say it anyway, and we're going to at least kick the idea around and you know, see where it takes us. Uh, something that was true, and I'll kind of wrap this thing up. Something that was true that I think we've lost as a, as a country, and maybe in the world, because even in Europe, I know that they're having trouble as well, is it, people used to be better at brainstorming. And what I mean by brainstorming, they used to have these things called think tanks, where a bunch of minds would come together, and they would put a problem in flight. They, they like put a problem on the table, and everybody would would uh, basically offer solutions or, or you know, ideas on how to fix this problem. And a lot of the, the solutions that were offered were stupid and maybe some were problematic or whatever else. But, it, but there was a, there, people used to be pretty good about just getting all the, the, the ideas out on the table, even though 95% of them were stupid. And people didn't really get their feelings hurt. When, you know, after you get all the ideas on the table, you kind of sort through them and say, okay, well, this, these 90% of ideas are not feasible. Uh, these won't work. But let's talk more about this 10%. You wouldn't get feelings hurt because, you know, people didn't get their idea chosen. But it feels like for comics, invariably, when I get into conversations with people inside the business, outside the business, often it's like, one, um, people, there's, there's all these rules. Before anybody starts brainstorming, it's like, well... You know, let's make sure that, you know, in all of our ideas, how to solve problems, we don't talk about all of these things because these things are, these things are, are problems and, you know, we don't want to discuss them. And then on top of that, it's like if for everybody who offered an idea, we want to make sure everybody has equal time to make sure their idea is discussed and brought up. But it's like, but some of those ideas are dumb. Like we shouldn't discuss them. They're just dumb. Like, for example, if you say a city is overcrowded, you know, one solution might be, Let's uh, let's burn down half the city. This was a solution that Seattle offered many years ago. Um, that beeping noise, by the way, is when I'm driving. I apologize. It, you know, the car is like trying to protect me from bashing into something. Um, I'm not that close. Anyway, um, Seattle had this idea a long time ago where the uh, the streets were all screwed up and there were problems and there's mud and everything else. And so the solution to this became let's burn part of the city down and kind of rebuild it. And as you can imagine, a lot of the business owners are like, hey, that's not a good plan because, you know, our, our business is going to burn up and this, this doesn't make sense. And the city's like, oh, yeah, maybe you're right. And then they burned it down in the middle of the night anyway, because screw it. And, and so, and, but it feels like that's kind of what we have today everywhere. It's like, hey, some of these ideas are just dumb, like, like burning down part of the city. We shouldn't do that. That's a dumb idea. But we don't need, actually need to spend a lot of time discussing it. It's just stupid. We can dismiss it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> we need to talk more. Truth is better than lies. That's, that's my message for today. Anyway. Um, Hey, uh, 
where do you go? I don't know how to wrap this thing up. Uh, leave your comments below on whatever that mess you just heard was. <laughs> like, subscribe. Uh, click the bell for notifications if you like it. Um, I don't know why you'd subscribe to this video. Uh, follow me on Twitter or Facebook at Comic Perch. And thanks for listening. Thank <laughs> you.